the Cisco CAST protocol, which is Cisco Audio Session Tunnel, is what's used by the Jabber client in your desk phone mode. So when we're controlling that phone, whether it's non-video capable, still something that we're controlling from that Jabber client, and we use the CAST protocol. Our other endpoints, we're going to be using, of course, RTP, doesn't matter what endpoint it is, to stream out our audio and or video. And it could be secure RTP or SRTP that we're using, which does encryption. A lot of times we don't use secure RTP because maybe we already have encryption on our network. It's already set up on all of our links. So it's like, mm, it's not really worth the double encryption if we think of it that way. I know it might sound like, ooh, better security. It sometimes can cause some issues, especially through VPN tunnels and, and whatnot. So you just want to kind of check with your security people and see whether or not you're going to turn on your secure RTP, whether it's necessary. Then with all of our other kind of ties into our Jabber client. We have Communications Manager, remember Client Services Framework, and we might have the services that are going to be provided or used by your Jabber client. We've got the TFTP environment set up for all of our phones to actually register and download their config files via the TFTP server. Then we have the CCM CIP service, and they have that spelled out for us. It's the Cisco Unified Communications Manager IP phone service. So lots of protocols on this particular uh, slide uh, to start to get used to with our protocols that are specific to voice and video, as well as presence in our communication solution. Cisco Jabber uses HTTP, secure HTTP, when listening to Voicemail messages, that's one time you'll, you'll see HTTPS kick in. When setting up WebEx and our Cisco meeting places uses HTTPS. Otherwise, we're probably using some of our standard protocols for video and voice conferencing, such as RTP or secure RTP. You know, either, either one, we had that discussion whether or not you're going to turn on your encryption for your voice traffic or utilize the existing network encryption. And any kind of call control setup, I kind of think of IMAP as, uh, because that's our Unity Connection server, maybe calendaring information, maybe running through as well using IMAP. So when we look at all of our Jabber behind the scenes protocols, there are quite a few that it uses depending upon whether it's just setting up a phone call or we're using this for conferencing capabilities or voicemail 